heartbreak for Pep. He's on his knees again and devastating for his players too. Manchester City are out and it's Leon that goes through to the semi-final to face Bayern Munich. And boy, are they happy about it. And that's uh, how it looks. Um, it's Germany against France in the two semi-finals. Leipzig uh, play Paris Saint-Germain on uh, Tuesday. And then it's um, Lyon Bayern on Wednesday. And uh, both those games, of course, will be exclusively live here on BT Sport. Um, can't do it, can they? No, it's a cool, it's been a cool competition to them mm. in recent years. And today was no different. And we see the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the second goal was, was I mean... Yeah. We spoke about Kamikaze defending yesterday. Today, again, we, f we spoke about the one in the first half that City conceded. This one's even worse because it's so much more glaring. The ball turns over. Once that ball turns over, Garcia, who's the last man, he's the only man, he's only defender in his half. He immediately feels he needs to engage with Dembele there. And the moment he does that, that gives these guys the impetus to start making runs forward and getting into, getting into the, the, the City half. He goes and engages. Once he makes that decision to go, then it's all about being a foot race. And you see as I play it there, right now, there's not one player in City's half. Look at all this space. Come on. That is, Imagine you playing in that against that. I, That's I like dream about dream playing world. against yeah? defenders that do that. It's and like for a striker's dream. And for a defender to evacuate that space and allow there to then be a foot race and to say, right, look, go on. If you play it in there, you've got a chance to get in there. There's no security kind of thinking at all. It's amateurish. Exactly. And then you see the ball goes through. And we can discuss whether it's a foul or not, but it shouldn't get to this point. It shouldn't get there. If Garcia stays in his position, he sees that out. The ball probably doesn't even get played straight through there. And I'll, you, Joe, if you want to talk about whether you think that's a foul or not, it, uh, uh, disgraceful defense. Well, let's have a look at it. VAR had a look at it um, for quite some time, and they decided that it obviously wasn't a clear and obvious mistake in their view. But, I mean, it's, it's as, as Peter Walton said in the, in the commentary, it, it, he thought it was obviously massively influential in the goal. Yeah, well, it's, it's not intentional. I, I think that's clear. No, but, but if it, there's definitely we, a we see penalties given for that all the time yeah. by VR in the box when a player goes down and he's accidentally tripped like that. But they give that generally nowadays. That's in the modern game. So it sh surely it should have been a foul. So the, does it then go with the, the referee's decision? Is he saying he saw it? Well, and... they're obviously not thought it was a clear and obvious error, which, which you can understand, but they, there's no consistency, is there, with VAR? It's good to see that they're equally inconsistent with it uh, in Europe as they are in the Premier League. Oh, I've got to say, if I'm on that pitch, I think that's a definite foul. It's yeah. got to be. Yeah. He's, he's, they've connect, they've he's, connected there. And he's the it? one who's gone on to score. Yeah, exactly. Let's have another look, because and this is important, because obviously the game game was balanced at that point. Well, City it's 1-1 for all point, the bad they? defending. It's a... Joe's right, City were dominating at that there's point. There the, is, there's there is the connection. contact there on his foot. 100% contact. Yeah. I don't understand how they can't call that. And there's yeah. going to be people saying conspiracy theories now if you're a City fan, etc. Well, of course. But you know. I believe that's a foul there. And the man goes on to score the goal as well. I mean, yeah. Dembele, we've not even spoke about him yet, but he was someone who, who went 22 goals and then yeah. sub. Top yeah. goal scorer in their team and then sub and then comes on and does that. two. Two yeah. goals, yeah. phenomenal. Uh, it, it really was. Um, between the two goals, though, City should have pulled it back. I mean, wow. Raheem Sterling, who, who, who was probably City's best player, along with probably De Bruyne in the second yeah, half. Well, what he'd done for the, for the goal, his yeah. movement was, was fantastic. But even here, this is where we've seen him countless times this season, in between the sticks, yeah. making runs, elusive. Oh. But here, I mean, Gary, how do you miss that? You tell me, you're a striker. <laughs> no, I, I'll tell you how, why he missed it, because he's tried to hit it too hard. When, when you're in that position there where you know you've got an open goal, the only way you can miss it is putting your foot through it. Mm. And if there is a slight bobble, it, there is a chance that it will go over the bar. Mm. All you've got to do is let it hit your foot, mm. take your weight off it. Like stab it. Like, like stun almost it, stun just it. a little stab. Just keep your knee over the ball and then it can't go up. You can miss hit it, miss cue it, and it, it'll still go in. He, he's, it's almost like he's trying to hit it with a little bit of force. There's obviously been a little bit of a lift of the ball, little bobble, and then it's missable. Wow. But if you just take the weight off, you can't miss. But and if he's going to put I mean, your money on anyone to score, oh, then, I know. Yeah. it's him. He's it the was, man you put your money on. It does jump up off the ground fractionally, so that's why... Do you think the covering defender kind of got in his head a little bit and he, he saw him potentially think, making a big block and he thought, I have to, I don't I have know, to bury he this? He looked like he was in, in the perfect position to hit it, but um, he's, he's going to not sleep very well tonight, he won't. Raheem Sterling. Um, but then 3-1, then well, it's just... 
less than a minute after that chance. Yep. They went at the other end. And this time, uh, Joe, I know you're goalkeeper's union, but this is a howler, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it's the, the situation of the game. You know, if this, if this is a good shot, a well-struck shot that he doesn't have to um, think about, he saves it. But I think he's already throwing it out, he's already kicking it. Yeah. You know, it's... Concentration, do you think? Well, it's des it's desperation. And, yeah. you know, it, obviously, you know, you know, you speak to Edison, he's going to tell you he should do better. But it's, it's the situation of the game. And City, at 1-1, at they were, they were, we all thought, here we go. You know, made the change, uh, Riyad came on. City looked really good, and then they're flustered. They're flustered with the way they gave away the second, and this is just the whole the whole team's head's gone here. I'll, Let, I'll tell you what. Sorry, I'll tell you one thing. On. I did every single game we've watched this week, this round of football, yeah. this new format of one game. The substitutes have had impact. Yeah. It's so important now, yeah. and, and now more than ever, it seems yeah. that the, the squad, the depth in your squad on that bench, is of yeah. huge importance. Cause Therefore, that again. leads to an obvious question. What about Pep's substitution? He only brought right, Mares on really to change things, mm. and uh, these you know these little geniuses or you know the playmakers. Mm. He left a lot of them on the sidelines. He played a negative game by, in terms of how he normally plays this evening. Certainly in his starting lineup, did he mess it up tonight? I think he's going to have to have a look at himself in terms of his mm. team selection, yes, and, and the way he changed his formation. I mean, even, for instance, Cancelo playing left-back. How many times the ball came out there and he came back in on his right foot? Mm. And getting behind teams is what Pep's about. Overloads in wide areas and getting behind teams. And in them areas behind the two wing-backs were perfect opportunities probably to get behind them. But you need creative players to draw people out, create space for runners to then get in. And they never really, they didn't do it enough no. this game, definitely. We'll talk about that in, in greater detail shortly. But first, let's hear from Kevin De Bruyne. He's with Des Kelly. Kevin, that's heartbreaking tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's a different year, same stuff. Um, I think first half wasn't good enough. Uh, I think we know that. We started slow. Uh, we had not many options, but I think second half we played really, really well. We come back 1 1, we had a couple of chances, and then uh, obviously. Uh, yeah, the 2-1 and the 3-1 uh, ends the game and, uh, yeah, it's a shame for us to, to go in that way. The 2-1 is important because VAR didn't give offside, but it also didn't give a foul on the court. Have you had a chance to talk about it? What's the reaction? I have no idea. I've not seen it back, so uh, whatever, whatever they decide, they decide, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to blame blame that. I think we, we should have done better. But I have to look back to see whatever whatever it was. Is it all the more painful because you got back on terms and you'd started to play like Manchester City we expected? Well, I think the second half we played well. I think we had them under pressure. We played more offensive uh, like we normally do. And I think we had them. And uh, their keeper made a few saves. And even at the 2-1, you know, if Ras scores the goal, it's 2-2 and uh, the game goes on. But that, that Football is that fine margin that made the difference, and they made the free one, and you know it's over. Yeah, that late miss, and then to go straight down the other end. 59 seconds later, the game's finished. I mean, that's, that's the cruelty of this competition because the game was opening up then. You were chasing yeah, it. The game was open, uh, but I think they didn't really create, except the two goals, the chances. But yeah, we need to learn, man. Uh, it's not 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 good enough, and um, that's it. They're the kind of side that you knew if they took the lead, they'd just sit and soak it up. And like we did against Juventus. Did you need to create more, put them under pressure more? Well, I think first half, yes. I think second half, we created enough to, to score score enough goals. So, um, you know, is that uh, that difference of uh, scoring and not scoring that, that makes it? And uh, we, we, we didn't do enough today. All you can do is go again next year? Well, uh, it's it's time to go home. It's been a long season. Uh, I need to go back home because my wife is expecting any moment. So I, I've got something to focus on personally. But uh, yeah, it's hard. Thanks. Thank you. Well, good luck to him and um, his wife with the newborn coming. Um, but um, interesting there, he said himself. Uh, it, the first half we weren't very good. Um, we we didn't. We, we should be more offensive normally and play like we normally do. And that's, that's very true, isn't it? They weren't their normal selves. They had a different lineup, a slightly negative lineup. Yeah, it wasn't. That, that might have been brought on from previous games at this stage. 
they've they've come across at this stage in the last last couple of years. So maybe Pep's thought about that and thought I need to be maybe yeah. a bit more conservative, not as expansive. But you see that there's frustration there in an interview, and I'm sure when as you know what you're like when you're a player in a change room and you you don't see the names on a team sheet that you expect to see yeah. or that you're accustomed to always seeing. It does send uh, a little bit. Have you bit had of, that? In, yeah, it, it did. Uh, we had it against Bayern Munich, and yeah. I mean. Uh, Darren Gibson won't thank me for saying it, but it was a young yeah. player yeah. and not one of the players that you expected to play in that game. He, he starts the game and everyone's looking around like, well, to be fair, he went out and scored a goal, but yeah. we ended up, we didn't get through in the end, I don't think. But it's more about when you watch that team today and we talk about Man City yeah. and we, we give them the credit and we sit here and we speak, oh, how good they were, etc. It's always about the offensive side of the yeah. game and about the imagination, about the creativity. All of that was on the bench today. Yeah. Yeah. And then Mares, other than Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. but then, then Mares comes on and the whole look of the game changes from Man City's point of view. If, if you're a Leon player and you, you, you get the team sheet Delighted. an, an hour before, I was going to say, and you, you go, wow, neither the, neither Silvers, no Mares, no Foden. Now, no, they've got great players all the way, but and a different kind of system that they don't normally play. You'd sorry, pleased, sorry, you? sorry, Joe. As, de as a defender, yeah. I see the name, no disrespect to anyone on there, but in t I'm sitting there and going, well, I know... I've got a really good idea of what Raheem does because he likes to run in behind. I've got yeah. a good idea of what Jesus was. He wants the ball to just in behind my corners to feet. I can really pick at the players other than Kevin De Bruyne and say, I really, I've got an idea of what they're doing. The players that give you a bit of nerves as well, the players that are a little bit unpredictable. The two silvers, mm. Mares, Foden. That's, that, that unpredictability brings a little bit of nervousness and actually I've got to take a step back maybe. Yeah. I didn't see that in the yeah. first team that I saw out there yeah. enough. Yeah. Tell I mean, me. you know him, obviously. Um, he, he, he does outthink himself sometimes, I think. Um, I mean, genius, though, he obviously is in many ways in the coaching aspects, and he's, he's unbelievably successful. But I've, I've played with coaches too. Like, Cruyff was very similar in the sense that sometimes you used to think, is he doing this just to maybe look good if it works? It's hard to say, isn't it? Obviously, you know, whatever we're going to say about him, he backs a lot of what he does up with medals. Mm. Um, that's what City want. That's what City brought him in for. It was to win the yeah. Champions League, yeah. and and it's not easy, you know. No, it's, not. it's a it. knockout competition. Mm. You've done it. it. You've done it. Sorry, it's it's really not an easy thing to do. No. And I just think tonight, like we say, maybe tried to maybe tried to go too far with thinking about being too conservative. I think I think the point about Cancelo and Mendy. I just think Leon was so compact and so heavy and strong in the middle, and the guys like Dene, they defended really well. Mm. It, needed, it needed a different approach, and, um, and it was probably too late when it came. Yeah. Perhaps we should give Leon more, more credit. I well, think we they definitely they, they deserve, were, yeah. they deserve yeah. huge they credit. Deserve they deserve really brilliant. proud of what they did. OK, uh, let's take a breather. Um, after that uh, breather, we'll hope to hear from um, Pep Guardiola, and um, he'll be desperately disappointed, of course. It's been a long while since he's won the Champions League and uh, didn't win it with Bayern, and he's still not won it with Manchester City. A lamentous night for Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. Here he is with Des Kelly. Pep, you must feel this competition is brutal to you at the moment. In recent years, it's been pretty cruel to you, this competition. Yeah, that's where it is. So one day we'll break this, uh, this gap, you know, to, to quarterfinals. Uh, except the first 20, 25 minutes that we struggle to, to find our... our uh, our space is to attack them more fluidly and after the players they feel free and the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes first half was good, the second half was was uh, yeah, it was okay, we were there. We were I had the feeling we were better, but uh, you know some you have to be perfect in these competitions in one game and uh, and we didn't. But what did you make of the second goal? Because there was a VR, VAR verdict. There was no offside, they say, but they didn't give the foul on Laporte either. What, what did you make of it? I don't know. It's, you seem to get VAR all the time. So. I know, you know, that it's, it's not... I don't want... Honestly, I don't want to talk about uh, these, these circumstances sometimes, you know. Uh, I don't want to talk. It looks like uh, I'm complaining or I'm uh, finding excuses. So we are out, so... I had the feeling that we were incredible already, so uh, we did a lot of good things, but at the end it was not enough, so we make making mistakes in the boxes in the key moments, and, and that's why we are up. You warned us that Leon were tough, but did you give them a little bit too much respect in the first half? You changed the shape. Did, did that work? No, what, what we have done is, 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 uh, is try to cover our weak points. 
in, in comparing with uh, his strength points. Like they attack incredible well to the channels with two and two. And I didn't want to leave them for the build up, it was better. And, uh, and that's why. So the first 50, 20 minutes, the first half was magnificent. So we un unblock a little bit our, our, you know, respect a little bit, or we were struggle to find our spaces to attack. And in the same shape, we play incredible good the first last 15 minutes and the first five, 10 minutes. What you want in the second half is put one more player there. And, um, you know, we create chances, we score a, a magnificent goal, but unfortunately, we miss another one and, and, and I'm back, so we concede two more goals. And there was that crucial 59 seconds where Raheem just missed the chance and then obviously it goes down this, there. I think this is a resume this competition. Mm. This competition is that, that situation, no? You have to equalize and go to extra time on the last minutes. And after we, we concede the third goal, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's this competition. You have to be perfect. Uh, you can make mistakes, especially behind. The first goal is a frontal ball. You have to solve it better. And, um, and yeah, we create more chances, more shoots. I, I guess I didn't see the statistics, but I think it's happened. So we did everything, but unfortunately, we are out again. And so you have to try again, try again until it happens with Manchester City. Uh, yeah, so we can do. Now I'm disappointed. Now you have to go to holidays. We are coming back soon. Uh, lift the players again, the club again, and and continue. Yeah, of course. Uh, sometimes you need to break. You know this. I know once with Manuel, they arrive in semi-finals, and I think the team, the team we have done in the last years, deserve it. But you have to win, and we we could not do it, and that's why maybe one day. We'll break this 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 gap and yeah, we'll see what happens.